today we are going to discuss about okay, rain where does it come from okay in previous classes already we discuss okay uh, different forms of water okay solid form liquid form and gaseous form and evaporation deflation also evaporation so what is evaporation what is evaporation the process of okay water changes into water vapor the process of water changes into water vapor is called evaporation so uh, evaporation is a natural phenomenon okay it is helpful to formation of clouds evaporation is helpful to formation of clouds so more most of the water bodies okay water is evaporated from the water bodies and the evaporated water enter into the atmosphere so it is helpful to the okay, uh, water vapor uh, is helpful to formation of clouds okay next we are going to discuss about okay condensation okay another concept condensation 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 so what is the condensation so before the definition of condensation we discuss about okay some uh, ex daily life examples okay do you observe okay, any water droplets on a grass in winter season yes we observe you might have observed different uh, uh, droplets okay small size water droplets on a winter morning uh, winter morning on a grass and leaves yes sir no so grass leaves observe water droplets in winter months sometimes leaves also winter morning the small size water droplets so these water droplets are dew okay these water droplets are called dew so these water droplets where does it come so water droplets are where does come from so these are mainly present in okay our atmosphere our atmosphere in the form of water vapor in the form of water vapor next in winter morning when we uh, release the air from your mouth when we uh, release the air from our mouth uh, what do you observe So the fumes, okay, the smoke, uh, fumes are smoke like okay clouds form uh, behind the your mouth. So that is only air. So when air or uh, mo moving are released outside, what happen? The air converted into white color smoke or cloud, cloud like okay uh, structure. So that is only water vapor. The small size tiny droplets. Okay, small size, tiny droplets of water vapor present in our respiration air. Okay, respiration air. So that's why when the air enter into the winter morning, uh, uh, winter winter season morning, when the air enter into outside, the outer air is very very cool. Winter you know already very very cool day. So uh, the outer air is very very cool. So in the uh, droplets tiny droplets or water vapor converted into water so water vapor converted into small size water droplets so that is okay uh, that process is called what condensation is yes, simple condensation is what the process of the conversion the process of conversion okay water vapor changes into water the process of conversion of water vapor changes into water is called condensation important this one the the process of conversion conversion of water vapor changes water vapor changes into Water. The process of conversion of water vapor into water. Into water. So water is known as 
more water bodies present on the our earth surface is yes no? rivers oceans seas lakes so these are all the water bodies the water bodies water okay surface water always evaporated by the heat of sunlight by the heat of sunlight so the continuously water bodies water so water bodies water evaporated water bodies water evaporated so this evaporated water enter into the atmosphere it moving upward direction moving upward direction so because it is less weight so because it is very less weight weight so that's why it is moving upward direction so it move upward direction the upper air then compared to lower air air okay so upper air very cool air upper air is very cool air here the water vapor convert into small size droplets i combining with dust part small size water droplets combined with dust uh, dust particles it appears smoke like structures smoke like stars so this is clouds so the main process form in the formation of clouds is evaporation process evaporation process the water is evaporated continuously from the water bodies and the evaporated water enter into atmosphere the atmosphere water moving upward direction and when enter into the cool atmosphere air so the water vapor convert into small size tiny droplets so this is looking like a smoke so that is uh, combined with dust particle so uh, in the upper direction form clouds next one so uh, formation of clouds in our kitchen formation of cloud in our kitchen so there are one activities there in our textbook so take a basin take a basin and fill with water take a basin and fill with water and boil the water the use of stove is a stove so what do you observe the boiling water boiling water evaporate some amount of water from the okay uh, boiling water so when keep the lid on the gas on the basin on the basin i if it uh, open the cap or take the cap and observe the bottom of the okay cap what do you observe in the bottom of the cap okay small size water the uh, droplets are formed below the uh, cap so when take small uh, cool water upper side of the cap what do you observe if at the uh, cool water in the below side of the cap okay what happen the small size tiny droplet convert into big size water drops big size water drops and big size water drops uh, continuously fall down is no so that is the live example okay in the formation of cloud side rain in our kitchen the formation of cloud side rain in our kitchen so that is the okay two processes here first one evaporation of water when boiling it okay so the evaporation evaporated water okay uh, enter near the surface of near the surface of evaporated water near the surface of cap or lid okay if take cool water cool water on a lid what are the the surface water vapor convert into okay big size water droplets so the big size water droplets continuously fall down continuously fall down is that no so simple so this is formation of cloud kind of evaporation process next another process for when you add cool water it is the clouds means the water vapor convert into 
water droplets. This is rain. So uh, clouds and rain. This is only observed in our kitchen only. So this is the okay a formation of clouds and water example. Here two processes there. One is evaporation process. The evaporate uh, air uh, enter near the lid. I next show when we have the cool water. What I mean the evaporated rain or uh, water converted into small uh, size water droplets. So the water droplets again okay, falling down. So these water droplets is example of rain. So this water vapor is example of cloud. Okay, next class formation of rain in detail and water cycle. Okay, thank you students.